Both him and the mouse are coming after us soon. That's right. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is Soren and Scratching. We have, we're already laughing, and we haven't even seen the video yet. We have a little bit of comedy coming for you tonight. I think it's going to be good. I have seen it. My friend hasn't. Now, speaking of me and my friend, I am the Eagle Friend. Eagle Friend? The frick was that? I am the Eagle Fan, coming to you live without a net, obviously. And my friend. I'm friend Evil Chicken. Hello. <laughs> welcome. Welcome once again. I can't wait. I don't know. I, I, I know it's comedy. I don't know this guy. I'm I'm in curious. I'm I'm curious. I want to know this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tom Segura. Who? And it kind of ties into a video we used to watch, or we used to watch, sorry, we watched. A little while back. Remember okay. that John Tron Steven Seagal video? Oh, God, yes. That this was is, uh... <laughs> Steven Seagal is out of his mind. That was great, the John Tron video. <laughs> I, 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 Tom Segura, okay. I yes. know the name. I, I might know him when I see him. Um, I'm intrigued. I, his okay. subject matter has captured my attention. Let's laugh. Bring it on, baby. It's all the all the same cliche shit they said when we were kids. They now say as adults, right? They're like, oh, you know, you you know, you watch too much TV, it'll rot your mind, or you can't learn anything from television. But that's not true. You can learn a lot from television. For instance, without television, I would have no idea that Steven Seagal is out of his fucking mind <laughs> or alive. I also didn't know that. He has a show. It's not a scripted show. It follows around the real Steven Seagal, and every episode begins with him looking in the camera and saying, I don't know if you knew this or not, but for the last 20 years, I've been a cop. And you're like, what did you just say? <laughs> I thought you'd been making shitty movies for the last 20 years. What are you talking about? You watch the show, he has the most unlikable quality in a human being, which is that he is an expert in everything literally if a dog walks by he's like that's a shih tzu boxer hound mix right there <laughs> and they're like how do you know that he's like i've been working with dogs for like 35 years <laughs> then a helicopter flies by and he's like that's a hub 106 and they're like how do you know that and he's like i've been flying helicopters for like 47 years <laughs> Then he does the thing, though, that everybody does who knows something about everything. Everybody has a friend, no matter what you're doing. They know the history of it all. They know every topic, every fucking fact. If you're eating dinner, they're like, you know, forks are from the Roman times, and they would sculpt them out of bark. And you're like, will you shut the fuck up and let me finish this, please? <laughs> Seagal will do that, too, but you know he's making it up. He'll be like, you know, they also call that helicopter a skippy. And they're like, why? He goes, listen to it. Goes, skip, 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 skip. That's bullshit. <laughs> you made that shit up. <laughs> so, have you seen him? <laughs> uh, I believe I have, for just briefly. This is brilliant. I, I agree with it. And yes, helicopters do make skippy sound. I know I've seen him somewhere. Yeah, I've seen uh, him, but I. Yeah. I can't place it though. No, no, me too. But uh, I'm digging it. I'm definitely digging it. Let's uh, hear more about Mr. Seagal. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, wow, seriously. It just blows my mind. It really does. That everybody in this room, everybody has this real world possibility in their lives. All of us. We could go tonight if we wanted to, tonight. You could go to Louisiana, you could start a fight in a bar, and there is a real world possibility that Steven Seagal <laughs> will arrest you. Isn't that insane to you? 
I've lost sleep over this shit. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy. That's literally like if you leave here and you roll through a stop sign and then Sylvester Stallone is like, hey, roll it down. And you're like, get the fuck out of here. I like, am the law. <laughs> it's my passion, yeah. <laughs> Will you say Adrian or something? Nah. It's nuts. You have to watch this show. He, he panders to every group according to race, knowing full well there's a camera crew following him around. He doesn't give a shit. If you're white, he's like, how's it going? All right. <laughs> and then to black people, he's like, what's up, cuz? And they're like, hey, what's up? I'm holding you down, so holla if you need something. OK. <laughs> And then to all Latino, Spanish-speaking people, he insists on speaking horrifically broken Spanish, even if they start the conversation in English. So they're like, hey, yeah, I called 911. Thank you for coming. The thing is, he's like, ah, hola. <laughs> Mucho queso. <laughs> he's like, I think my English is way better than your Spanish, man. And he's like, no, gracias. No. <laughs> And then to all Asian people, he bows, regardless of where he meets them. <laughs> if you're Asian and you cross Steven Seagal's path, he's like, eh. Yeah. And you sit and they go, hey, I was born here, you dick. Like, you don't have to do that. And he's like, sorry, I've been doing martial arts for like 85 years. <laughs> <laughs> he trains other cops in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think that's infuriating for those cops. It's not like we're hanging out. We're like, hey, man, do you want to do like a couple shots and then go down the street? Uh, Steven Seagal is teaching people how to throw punches. And we're like, okay. <laughs> no. It's you're a cop and you show up at work and they're like, we're going to go over hand-to-hand -hand combat today so you can protect yourself if you're in a really dangerous situation. You're like, oh, cool. Who'd you bring in to teach us? Like some Navy SEALs or Green Berets? And they go, uh, no. Uh, we brought in Steven Seagal. <laughs> And you're like, are we shooting a fucking movie this week or something? Like, mm -mm. Okay, I'll pass, because that's ridiculous. I don't want to be a part of that. Correct. That's literally like if you're like at NASA, and they're like, all right, future astronauts, uh, we're going to go over space exploration. And to get us started, why don't you welcome uh, Captain Kirk? Come on out, man. <laughs> and you're like, is he qualified to do this? And they're like, oh, you've seen him do all that shit. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about, man. He's been up there. They show him teaching people how to fight. It's horrible. He's bloated now. He doesn't have the same range of motion. He's like, everybody line up. <laughs> if, somebody, if somebody throws a punch, you can, you can block it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you can kick him in the throat like that. <laughs> Are you kicking a child in the throat right now? Some people throw it down there. I like Havarti cheese the most. What's your favorite? All right, that was oh. fun. <laughs> that was I thought funny. that was a good tie-in to our other video. So <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like a it's a, it's a sister show, <laughs> <laughs> a bookend, so to speak. Exactly. Yeah, um, that was awesome. That was great. Yeah. Tom Segarra. Uh, that was funny. Yeah. I'll, I would track him down. He, he yeah. does a decent Seagal impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially the moves. <laughs> I, I, it was like he was there. <laughs> Wait. I just blocked it again. <laughs> I just blocked it. Here, I'm going to kick you in the throat. <laughs> yep. So bloated and range of motion issues. Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that. You see, we have more in common with Steven Seagal than we don't. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's damn frightening. <laughs> that is very scary. Well, just I well, mean, maybe in some things. I shouldn't say all things. Yeah, I mean, I've I've <laughs> only been I've only been. Uh, bloated for you know the last 23 years okay but, i don't know yeah, my, well, i've been doing my, it a little longer than that but <laughs> my, my range of motion has been a little limited i think for 37 years but um 
I, I, I'm thinking. I, I, I used to believe that I could move a lot better uh, than I do. <laughs> and I've I've known of karate and martial arts for the last you know, forty nine years. I've uh, known of its existence. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I've, I've known. I've of even existence. I've been watching his movies for the last seventy five years. Easily. <laughs> <laughs> So let us know your thoughts down below. What do you think about the video? What do you think about uh, Tom Segura? Oh, hell, what do you think about Steven Seagal? Boom! (laughs) (laughs) How insane is he now? I I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Sky's the the limit. Oh, come on. We saw the actual videos in that John Tron there with him talking. Yeah, all right. Never mind. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) So let us know your thoughts below and other suggestions. We appreciate them as well. And a like, comment, and subscribe, along with ringing that little bell down there so you know when we have a new video out. That's always appreciated. Never pressured. True. So thank you guys for everything. Parting thoughts, sir. Oh my goodness. Um, this was fun. This was fun. It made me giggle. And I think he's not um, inaccurate with his depiction. True. Just saying. We, we started the <laughs> evening off a little, true. little on the dark side. Now we're ending true. with a little, this little is better true. here, I think. For this particular session of uh, videos. Uh, we, you know what? That's interesting. Our, we, our videos think, recently, you'll know why. <laughs> You know, it's interesting. We shoot like three or four or five videos at the same time. And you can always tell because we're wearing the same T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dave has a lovely Thanks. Darth Vader ensemble. And tonight I've got the Charlotte's Web thing. Um, uh, I was I was in the play. And uh, I didn't mean that to sound so self-serving all of a sudden. <laughs> he was but in I, a play. I, yeah, in this one. it was It was fun. He was in that play. Spoilers. The spider dies. So <laughs> The spider dies. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Dave. Oh my I'm god. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna tell me Spock dies. Oh come on now. I'm I I'll I will never live that down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was completely common knowledge. I mention it <laughs> and, and I, I ruined somebody's world. Yeah, but he wasn't going to be watching it anyway. So <laughs> I don't think you ruined his world. No, you're right. He wouldn't watch it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I mean, I, I, I'm still upset at the spoiler that our friend left yesterday. I think it was. I didn't know about Loki and the horse hooking up. Well, that's that's <laughs> that's real um, Norse mythology. That's not it, something that happens in the show yet. I can't wait if that happens. <laughs> Last no, I was you guys reading, aren't watching Luke Loki. You need to be. It's awesome. I'm not. Last I was reading that legend, he had just met the horse. There was that little tension in the air. Completely consensual. I was at that. <laughs> will they or won't they stage? He transformed himself into a horse. It's important to know this. And then I see that post, and now I know. <laughs> Spoilers happen, so be careful out there. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> thank you guys again out there. We, we got we a little, <laughs> I have no idea. We got a little derailed. Just a little. It's thank okay. you guys again. Yes. Be good to each other out there. We need Please more of do. that. The world needs, what the world needs now is love, sweet love, baby. And uh, I really mean that. Indeed. Oh, also, be healthy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Do both. <laughs> yes. Or else. No. <laughs> <laughs> or else Steven Seagal will come. And he doesn't like milk. Well, I was going to say he doesn't like milk and cookies, but we all know differently. <laughs> <laughs> Leave out some milk and cookies for Steve. And he'll make you lay down on the ground so he can 
kick you in the throat. throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And, you know what, and Steven, also, I, Stephen, if you're watching this, dude, I'm sorry. I'm no one to. I love milk and cookies too. It's painfully obvious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so anyway, where were we? <laughs> I was about to tell them to keep their eyes to the sky because Steven Seagal might be up there in a helicopter and you don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sloopy, Sloopy, Sloopy. What was that? Was that what he said? I forget. Skippy, Skippy. Skippy. Skip, 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 skip. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Oh, Igor Sikorsky with his machine that beats the air into submission. That's the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and your ear to the ground, <laughs> because it's always important to listen. Because Steven Seagal might be sneaking Steven Seagal up on you. <laughs> He'll be like, anyway. Where's the milk and cookies? <laughs> Both him and the mouse are coming after us soon. That's right. <laughs> I think, doesn't Disney own all the Seagal movies now? He's a Disney prince. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a Disney prince for 95 years now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, he has. So take care, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you. Stay yeah. safe. Peace.